Hello, I'm David Chaston with 90 at 9, brought to you by interest.co.nz. This week, get everything you need to know in 90 seconds and 9 o'clock, including news of big regulatory announcements. But first, obviously the big weekend news is the swarm of continuing earthquakes in central New Zealand. This will dominate the news here this week. We have a separate story where you can record your experiences. Elsewhere, China has moved to deregulate a key control over its banks, its lending rate, allowing them to offer lower rates. The next reform, deregulating the savings rates, will be harder, but it is expected at some time. One consequence may be that Chinese banks may now need huge new amounts of capital. Chinese bank reform will unlikely be a smooth process. American regulators also signalled over the weekend that they are looking to review and tighten how banks trade in commodity markets. Apparently huge new fines are imminent for some key banks on how they have manipulated some commodity markets. Fine settlements have been growing and JP Morgan Chase is facing a massive sanction. More on this in top 10. Early data out for US June home sales indicates that they climbed to their highest level in nearly four years. And in Japan, the government has won voter endorsement in upper house elections. This clears the way for a more aggressive abonomics program. And finally, finance ministers from the G20 group of leading nations have formally backed an OECD plan over the weekend to tackle international tax evasions and avoidance. That same meeting backed growth over austerity. Before trading starts this week, it is uncertain how the latest earthquakes will affect our currency, but the New Zealand dollar starts the week at 79.2 US cents, 86.5 Aussie cents, as high as since November 2008, and the TWI is at 75.2. I'm David Chaston. That was 90 at 9, brought to you by interest.co.nz.